Oh, wasn't expecting you guys. Leo, hurry up, the video's about to start. <laughs> that was a close one, guys. I was a split second too late. Welcome back to Real Estate Madness episode six. six. Sold by Leopold and Agent Alex D back at it again. So we were talking to someone the other day and we've come to realize there's a common misconception amongst first time home buyers and it's huge. So a lot of first time home buyers think that they have to stay in that house for 30 years or until that home is completely paid off, which is not the case here. If they decided to make a move in the next year or the next five years, it's definitely doable. What we recommend our clients to do is at least live in the house for two years before making that move happen or having that discussion with us. And don't get us wrong, you can sell way before the two year mark. You're not locked in for that date. The reason why we recommend that is because if you do sell before that time is up, there may be slight tax implications as far as uh, the profit goes as compared to waiting those two years where that implication wouldn't come up. Uh, that's something we'll get into at a later date once we do sit down with our CPA and uh, answer those questions for you guys. Point is guys, don't feel like you're locked in for 30 years or whatever your term may be on that home. Because we understand sometimes people's lifestyle or something happens that they have to make the move you know, sooner rather than later. So if you know anyone that's in a situation like this, have them reach out to us, we'll take care of them. They're in great hands. That's it guys, thanks for tuning in. Real Estate Madness, episode six. Keep asking questions, we love the feedback. See Until you next, next time.